Okay, now we have got our model here. And now uh, I will create the inlet and outlet extension. So here in article in the CFD Autodesk website, it says like extending inlet and outlets to help avoid divergence, improve mass balance and aid accuracy. So here there is an example as well. Extension help to ensure that flow is fully developed as it enters and leaves the analysis domain. Outlet extensions can also help to avoid recirculation of the flow over the outlet boundary condition, which is seen in many simulation and can negatively impact the result and sometimes causing divergence and poor mass balance in the system. So for best practice users should aim to have inlet extension greater than or equal in length to five times to the opening width. Okay and the outlet extension greater than or equal to 10 times the opening width. Okay, so there is also a, a video here if you wanna check about the inlet and outlet extension, for example here. So you can just search on Google for this title in the Autodesk CFD website, okay? So now we're going to create the extension for our opening. So as you remember, this one would be the inlet and this opening here would be the outlet as well as, sorry, this one would be the outlet as well, okay? So to create an extension or extrusion, we can do this. So first, click on the component here and choose model in place. Okay, so we're going to save the project first. Um, okay, I'm going to create it here. Um, I'll just create this as Refit, oh, sorry, Refit Model 2. You can save your model as you wish. Okay, it would be just pick Windows, it doesn't matter actually. Okay, it will be Windows 1, that's okay. And after that, choose Extrusion. And before that, we have to set the plan, the working plan. So pick a plan and choose the working plan. So we will create the extrusion here. So we pick this plan, okay, and after that, Choose the pick lines option here, okay, and we can start uh, creating, choosing the line, I mean, that we want, uh, where we want to create the extrusion. Okay, that's cool. And we want it to be five times the width of the opening, right, as suggested by the website earlier. So this one is uh, 500 millimeters, so that would be 2,500 2, millimeters, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, and click apply. Cool, and after that, click yes. Okay, cool, and finish model. Okay, and now we're going to create the extrusion here. Again, click on the architecture, choose component, model in place, and this one, yeah, let's say this one is a Windows as well, it doesn't matter. Click OK and click extrusion. Don't forget to set the working plan again because we, we are going to draw in a, a different plan and then click pick lines. So to see that whether you already selecting a correct plan, working plan, you just have to look at this. So if you click on the pick lines and click this line, the color should be uh, purple. So that shows that you are, uh, that shows that you are working in the correct plan, okay? Okay, cool. So this one would be 10 times. 10 times the width of the opening would be would be 2,500. Okay, cool. And click yes. Nice. 
then we can click on this oh and then click finish model okay now i'll create the other extension for the outlet the other outlet architecture component model in place okay just choose windows okay okay don't forget to choose extrusion set the working plan again pick plane okay okay and then pick lines okay click yes and finish model and then save rotate the model and then this one is also an outlet so we're going to give it the extension okay so extension work plan don't forget to pick a plan this one okay and this should be 10 times the width right so that would be five meters apply yes and finish cool so now we have this model here